Yes, a historic and a momentous day for South End. A very grey day, actually, but there is certainly lots of joy in the people's faces here as their beloved town becomes a city. And they will be welcoming Prince Charles and his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall. It starts a little bit later on this morning at the Civic Centre in town. And that is where Prince Charles will give the letters patent to the mayor of South End. And that is a document that is signed signed by the Queen, which officially gives South End city status. And then there will be that first city council meeting in that building. And then Prince Charles and his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, will come down here to South End seafront. And they're actually going to come down to this pier here. And this is what, is what makes South End so famous. It's the longest pleasure pier in the world. It's just over a mile long. Look how long that is. It's incredible. And if you look really closely, you can actually see it looks like bus stations or little train stations along the way and you're completely right because there is a train that runs along the pier uh, helping people get to and from uh, the bottom of the pier and it's always been a diesel train but a little bit later on Prince Charles is actually going to open a train that runs on lithium batteries so it's going to be a green train on South End Pier and it is going to be named after Sir David Amos so that's a really fitting tribute to the MP who served here for over 24 years before he was so tragically killed in October of last year. Now, after they open that train, they will go to this adventure park over here. I hope you can see that. That's called Adventure Island. Uh, they will be visiting that adventure park there, and then they'll be going to the restaurant just outside, which is called Sands by the Sea. And there they're going to meet volunteers from the RNLI, from Her Majesty's Coast Guard, and also uh, business leaders across South End as well. So a really packed day uh, for the royal visit here in South End, and a really bittersweet day for people of South End. It's very, very sad that the late Sir David Amos will not be here. But what a fitting tribute to the city, now the city that he loved so very much, and how he would have loved to have been there today, Ellie. Uh, as you say, a bittersweet uh, story. That thank you so much well, for that. Well, I've been there, Ellie, and I didn't know there was a mile long pier. I've been to the football ground and uh, been around the city centre. Looks lovely. Looks very lovely. What, what's the beach like, Ellie? How would you describe it? The beach is actually really sandy. It's a little bit pebbly as you go down, and the water is actually really, really still today. I was a bit worried. It's meant to be raining all day. We've got it nice and dry whilst we speak to you, but we are expecting lots of crowds on the beach a little bit later on, trying to capture a glimpse of Prince Charles and his wife. So hopefully the rain doesn't put too many people off and we still get loads of people down on this lovely sandy beach.